Now, you may have heard of artificial insemination of livestock, but have you heard that chicken are also now being artificially inseminated? Well, a chicken breeding farm in Western Gishu County is now using this technology, this technology rather, and what is said to be the premier case in East and Central Africa. Here's KTN's Masi Kandie, the details. The sound of a booming chicken business got out of a technology used to improve greatly the agriculture sector in the region, however, being restricted to livestock. The artificial insemination takes a different focus here to improve the poultry breed. When you do artificial insemination, I would guarantee you a 95% fertility in all eggs. On the outskirts of Eldore town at a capserate farm, going by the name Kukuchik is the first hatchery in East and Central Africa. <laughs> to have embraced the AI technology in poultry breeding where the male chicken is kept specifically for semen to fertilize the female parent stock. is able to lay eggs as it scavenges. The same bird is able to produce meat under uh, uh, more than three kilos in um, under four months now the breeding center has over 9,000 parent stocks of cocks and hens the ai procedure is conducted once every three days and the fertilized eggs are taken to the hatchery for incubation actually sells at only 100 shillings that is for day old bats we sell 200 shillings for two week old bats we also sell a 300 shillings for one man old bats. Other than for hygiene purpose, the cages are also vital for ensuring that the cocks do not mount the females because they are too heavy and may lead to injuries since the male chicken weigh up to 10 kilograms while the hens weigh about 2 kilograms. The female hybrid stock which began laying eggs at six months give a minimum of 220 eggs per single laying cycle of eight months. The farmers here say the ordinary Mwanainchi too can embrace this. This bird can be bred using uh, less technology. You don't need to do a, a, a very expensive house. You don't need to invest a lot. You can use a grass touch house, a mud house. According to the farmers here, the breed is distinct from the native bird because they can adapt to any environment and don't need the complicated lighting system to survive. Technology, as they say, is to make life easier. Here, it's that, and a fast maturity rate. Masikandi Akati and Kapseret, Wasingishu County.